know, one of the things that we get asked very often is what size bilge pump do I need for my boat? Well, stay tuned and I'm going to walk you right through that. Mark Hawk here from Boat US Magazine. Thanks for tuning in. And if you enjoy this video, don't forget to leave a comment, give us a thumbs up and subscribe to our YouTube channel. You know, it's often been said that the most effective bilge pump is a guy in a panic with a bucket. But also, you might be surprised to learn that neither ABYC or the US Coast Guard actually mandate that you have bilge pumps on your boat. But apart from the smallest thing, it probably makes a lot of sense to have a, some kind of mechanical bilge pump on your boat. And that can either be an electric one like this or a manual bilge pump. Because many pumps sit in water almost their entire life and the connections are likely to get wet at some point, it's important that they are of the highest integrity. So that means that we need to use proper waterproof connections with the correct heat shrink. We have other videos which show how to make proper electrical connections and how to connect up a bilge pump. So don't forget to check out our other videos with the links below. Obviously, because of the name, a bilge pump sits in the bilge, which is the lowest part of the boat. But before you rush out and just go buy any bilge pump, you need to work out exactly what size you need for the type of boat that you have. In a nutshell, it's best to have the biggest pump that you can on board your boat. And they're rated in gallons per hour, but that's in the ideal world. And we don't live in the ideal world, so we need to do some calculations. Before we go any further, let's get one thing straight. The average bilge pump is not going to prevent your boat from sinking if you have a major event like a collision. It's really there just to get rid of nuisance water. And that's water from things like dripping stern glands, air conditioner units, leaks from windows even, and all the other things where water can actually seep into the bottom of your boat. These leaks, given time, can contribute to a sinking, but at least a bilge pump will give you time to be able to get in and fix the pump. On my boat that we're sitting on here, I have several 1,200 gallon per hour bilge pumps installed. Now, they have to lift the water, obviously, from the bilge, up a pipe, and out the side of the boat. That's called static head. If you've got to lift water three feet from the bilge to the outside of the boat, the efficiency of the pump drops by 30%. Double that to six feet, and the efficiency goes down by 60%. To make matters worse, the length of the hose makes a difference too, because there's friction in the hose, so that reduces the flow. And then if we use things like a corrugated hose, that makes it even worse. Some people like this because it's bendy, goes around corners nicely, it's easy to install, and it's cheap. But the corrugations add a lot of extra friction to the water flow, so that slows things down. Much better to use a smooth bore hose like this one. Sometimes you'll see things like this. This is actually a check valve, and that goes in the hose between the outlet of the bilge pump and then through the skin fitting, and it'll be sort of in this kind of configuration. The reason for that is that it stops water from backflowing down the pipe and refilling the bilge, otherwise you'll keep getting this cycle, and it can actually flatten your battery. It's important to remember that pumps are rated with a fully charged battery. So if the battery is slightly discharged, or we've got a long length of cable run to the pump, or we're using a cable which is too thin and increasing resistance, all those factor in and will make the pump less efficient. As I mentioned earlier in the video, I have several 1200 gallon per hour bilge pumps on my boat and I've made every precaution to make sure that they're wired and plumbed in correctly. But even so, I'm still getting a 45% drop in efficiency, which is almost half what it says on the side of the pump. So in order to check the efficiency of your pump, it's always a good idea to get a helper, get them to pour five gallons of water into the bilge of your boat while you stand on the outside and see how long it takes for the water to get pumped over the side. As an example, a 500 gallon per hour bilge pump working at full efficiency would take 35 seconds to empty that water out of the bilge. But obviously, because of all the things that we've discussed earlier, it may well take longer than that. So as a final thought, it's always better to have two or more bilge pumps so that you've always got a backup should one pack up. Anyway, I'd like to thank you for watching. I hope you've learned something and we'll see you on the water.